Mm-hmm. So, and then the second question is, and here's, well, I, I would love Raghu's take on this as well. Because Adi said I had a different upbringing and he had a different upbringing. Mm-hmm. And I'm wondering, did that have anything to do with our sex itself? Like if my parents had a son and if his parents had a daughter, would that have changed the way they look, perceived people? Because I'm, I've been like, daddy's a little girl. You wouldn't be, I wouldn't be if I was his son, right? Yeah. So I'm wondering if just, if that could have changed things, maybe you would have just been the same person anyway. I think in theory, it would have, and I, I cannot definitively say it would have, but let me take the example of my cousins who mm-hmm. are of the female yeah. gender and who are a part of my close family. So the way our family would have behaved with each other and the way they would have set the goals and the standards. I think despite having similar standards, they're still given more emotional freedom. So I would say, yes, it would have been different. And I think it's not only my parents, it's also society around me, which expects me to work hard Mm -hmm. and to be smart. They do not encourage procrastination. They do not encourage, uh, asking dumb questions so they respect when you say something in fewer words so there are there are a lot of these things which over time again again it's it's a very simple it's like a business structure right if you incentivize something for me then i have more value in growing in that direction and maybe maybe you are not incentivized to grow in IQ or EQ, maybe you're uniformly a more healthy person, but at least in my case, I was incentivized to be smarter in my life. Hmm. It's funny because I think uh, it's not just you. Mm. I think <laughs> not to generalize, but I think in India, uh, male kids end up getting less cash from their parents as well. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know much. I, I grew up like I had an elder brother, dad, myself, so I grew up in mostly like a male predominant family, but mom was working too. She was kind of the breadwinner. So I saw that like where my mom took the masculine uh, roles for the family. So I grew up with that both niche. And I feel like, um, I feel like irrespective of, this is my take again, it's right or wrong. I have no idea. This is just based on my experience. I feel like we, we all have like, like, Basically, like your EQ or IQ, it just depends on like at what point you grow up. Like there's there's a predominant weightage for IQ or EQ in the situation that you face. But also like I feel like inherently like women are mostly known to take care of things and men are mostly known to go and get things. So back in the primitive days, like, you know, men are like, you know, we are all hunters and gatherers. Men were supposed to go and hunt. Women are supposed to take care and make sure like everything is intact. So when you're when you're thrown more a dangerous situation, I personally feel your IQ comes into place because you are in that you know fight or flight mode. When you are in a place where you have to think for ten people, that's where EQ comes into place. So women are predominantly I see women more of like um, thinking for the whole family. Women after a certain age they don't think for themselves. They think for like their husband, their kids, and like, you know, predominantly for others. So that's where I feel like the EQ kicks in where like men lack the IQ. But when, when we say lack, um, with, with the current generation, at least we have the podcasts and YouTube and, you know, being aware of where you lack at and trying to be more informative about that helps like, you know, everyone in, in a long run. That's, that's my take on it. I actually think it doesn't have to do with gender. Mm-hmm the truth i mean that's what i think after everything that we've discussed i'm realizing because i think i i understand what you mean this is where my mind went because abhi also kind of right biologically women they need to be emotional because they care for babies more than anything right the only way to care for a baby that's crying and annoying and pooping itself is to be emotional and having inside you for nine months (laughs) <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Right. Yeah. Like he's going to have to have some heart going on yes. there. So that part I understand. Um, but I do think because we have evolved a lot. From, and also 
while I understand that men protect and oversee, and then you mentioned fight or flight, and I'm wondering, does emotion not play a role there? Because I have, I'm actually quite an extremist myself, and I think fight or flight is something that gets triggered a lot more than it should in a modern mm -hmm. human being, even for me. Um, and there's a lot of emotion involved. Like, if I'm put in a fight or flight situation, I will take emotional sort of components into account before I act. So I'm wondering if maybe men can also do that. And maybe men do 